I'm presenting uh, the data on behalf of uh, my co-authors um, on this trial. Um, we're really in a neat, um, well, this is Dr. Hody's presentation, so. Uh, <laughs> did I go, okay, I'm sorry, let me. So again, we're really in an area of remarkable advances for melanoma. Um, the CA20903 phase one trial was a dose escalation cohort expansion study of nimolumab, which is a fully human IgG4 PD-1 receptor blocking antibody, studied in pretreated patients with selected solid tumors. So all these patients had at least one prior treatment for their disease. The data was actually presented at ASCO uh, 2012, and it was published in the New England Journal in June of 2012 by Dr. Tapalian. So this is an update of that data. The, the agent showed substantial activity in three diseases, melanoma, renal cell cancer, and non-small cell lung cancer. And I'm going to present the follow-up data for melanoma. So the, we collected additional follow-up data, at least a year of follow-up data, to assess survival, We're presenting that for the first time, durability of response, and long-term safety of this agent. So just a little bit about the biology of PD-1. PD-1 is an immune checkpoint receptor expressed by activated T lymphocytes, which we think are the cell that, that, that mediate the anti-tumor responses when we give immunotherapy. Um, this, uh, this receptor interacts with uh, ligands, PD ligand 1 and PD ligand 2, which are upregulated in tumors by the cytokines produced by the T cells, and that actually downregulates the T cell anti-tumor immune response. So when we give nivolumab to block PD-1, we actually restore or improve the function of the T cells that are inf infiltrating the tumor uh, microenvironment. This is a survival data, which we're presenting for the first time in advanced melanoma patients. The median survival was 16.8 months, and the one and two year survival was 62% and 43%. So to put these data in perspective, the median survival for vemurafenib and BRAF mutant patients was approximately 16 months. For ipilimumab in a similar group of patients was around 10 months, and for chemotherapy in a similar group of patients, approximately nine months. And if you look at the two-year survival rates for ipilimumab in phase two and phase three trials, it's in the range of 24 to 33 percent. So this survival data compares very favorably with historical controls. Now the other activity data is also very interesting. The overall objective response rate uh, was 31 percent in this group of patients, and it was 41 percent at the three milligram per kilogram dose level that was chosen for further development. The other interesting thing about this agent is that responses occurred fairly rapidly. So by eight weeks, 45 percent of patients already showed evidence of, of response. Um, the median duration of response was two years, which is one of the highest numbers that I've seen. And the activity wasn't restricted to patients who just had an objective response. So an additional 11 percent of patients either had prolonged stable disease or these unconventional patterns of response, which actually Dr. Hody has reported on before suggesting that there was an activity above the 31 percent that had the objective responses. And the last sort of very interesting point is that these responses don't necessarily have to be maintained by continuing drug. So out of the 33 responders, 17 stopped for reasons other than progression of disease, for example, completion of therapy. And of those, 12 continued to respond beyond four months after stopping the drug. So you don't necessarily have to maintain these patients with, with drug in order for their response to persist. So the safety data, all patients had at least a year of follow-up and, and some up to two years of follow-up. And this was generally very well tolerated. And I can say this, this is one of the best tolerated drugs I've given in the clinic. Of the select adverse events which we see with these agents which are related to tissue-specific inflammation, it was only moderate or severe in approximately 5 percent of patients. And actually only 6 percent of patients discontinued study therapy for toxicity. There was no new safety signal with additional follow-up uh, of one year. So overall, in conclusion, the median overall survival was 16.8 months, one and two-year survival was 62 and 43 percent, which compares very favorably with other agents. Uh, a rapid objective clinical response was seen uh, in these patients, and the objective response rate of 31 percent in heavily pretreated patients with melanoma is a remarkable number. Another about 11 percent of patients showed evidence of clinical activity with prolonged stable disease or these non-conventional responses, very long median duration of response of approximately two years, and the responses could continue after drug was uh, discontinued. It's a very well tolerated agent. There were no new safety signals and actually no uh, new case, no new uh, deaths related to drug-related pneumonitis have emerged over the past year. And this uh, agent is now being studied in at least three ongoing phase three trials in melanoma in both previously untreated 
and previously treated disease. Uh, thank you.